I didn't see masks being as divisive as they were. I didn't see that coming. In hindsight, of course. America will tear itself apart over anything. But I did not see that coming. Like when this first hit, they were just like, hey, scientists are saying this could help prevent the spread if you wear a mask. They're not sure, but they think it could help. And in every other country, they were like, oh, well, if the scientist says, does the scientist know more than I know? I will focus on what I am good at, which is choosing our wine for dinner tonight. <laughs> a bon appetit, a manja. It's a French-Italian hybrid. It's not offensive. It's, it's a region you don't know about. In the States, they were like, scientists are saying that they think you should wear masks. Not sure, but they think it could help stop the spread. And we were all just like, what the fuck do scientists say? <laughs> That's impending on my civil rights. Do you mean infringing? I don't know. I was out on a limb at the beginning of this sentence. That's the smartest thing I've ever even fucking tried to say. Let me ask you this, friend. What the fuck's a scientist know that I don't know? I don't know, Kenny. Science? Fucking science? Your house is underwater because you wouldn't evacuate the hurricane. So what, when it resurfaces, it'll resurface stronger? Not how mobile homes work. Not how mobile homes work at all. Bet I got a bigger truck than you got. Dude, I don't even have a truck. Hunter Biden's a lizard pedophile. All right, I can't do this anymore. I cannot. QAnon's just redneck Dungeons and Dragons and I don't have time for this shit. I'm a grown up. There's only one person out there capable of bridging the divide in the United States right now, and I think we all know who it is. It's fucking Jeff Foxworthy. <laughs> Best comic of my or any generation. Do you remember Jeff Foxworthy had that bit? You might be a redneck if, and then he would just tear into the delightful foibles of Southern working class. We need that shit again but he's got to update it for 2021. I want Foxworthy back out here being like, you might have stormed the Capitol if... <laughs> if your name's Chris and you sell cars and you say your company's name is Chris's Cars with two Ks, you might have stormed the Capitol. <laughs> if you haven't had sex in 11 years and for some reason you think that's all of women's fault, you might could have stormed the Capitol. You might could have stormed it. <laughs> Only Foxworthy could unpack that shit. <laughs> when I watched them storm in the Capitol, I couldn't take my eyes off it. I watched all day long. And the one thing I kept hoping was that I wish I could watch this in the presence of people who have pulled off successful coups. <laughs> It's like former dictators and generals from like Mali and Sudan and Bolivia and El Salvador watching like the BBC World News feed of that shit. They're like, all right, all right, they're doing it in America. You guys are in, awesome. Smart move, having no reinforcements whatsoever despite weeks of online chatter. Wonder how that happened. Anyway, let's get to business. Spill some fucking blood. You're in the building. First thing you gotta do, spill some blood, make a statement. Why is everyone filming YouTube footage on their cell phones? You're not gonna want any record of this. Let's get to the Senate floor and let's burn the fucking votes. Why is he picking up a lectern? You can have any lectern you want in the new regime, all right? Eyes on the goddamn prize. Don't walk into Nancy Pelosi's office. No, don't take a photograph. What the fuck are you doing? You're in the fucking building, finish the job! Why is he dressed like Sasquatch? Actually, that's pretty good psychological warfare. We're, we might use that later, that's fucking terrifying. Uh, that's very scary, that guy gets a pass. Effective tactics. 